Hello from Green Mopeds in London. So today we are taking out the LX06 from Lexmoto, uh, also known from the manufacturer Lueng, L-V-E-N-G, as the LX06 Max. Um, it is a four kilowatt Bosch hub motor, uh, 125cc equivalent bike. Um, Lueng out of China, as I guess you would expect. Um, it's a high 40s stroke 50 mile an hour bike uh, with two Samsung uh, 60 volt 32 amp hour batteries. Its uh, obvious competitors are the uh, Artisan EVC and the, the electric motorcycle company as in the Amoco Ultra 4 kilowatt. Okay, the Amoco Ultra now comes in a 5 kilowatt version. So it's just to highlight that this is the four kilowatt version. Okay, the, those other two are the same bike underneath from the same factory, same battery power, etc., etc. There are a few differences. The EVC comes in just gray. The Ultra comes in lots of other colors, although they've now dropped the red. Um, but four kilowatts, but they are single battery whereas this one is two 60 volt, 32 amp hour batteries. Uh, one of the advantages of that is you can ride on one battery on this bike. If you did that, however, you would only get about 27 odd miles an hour. Okay, but if you're in London, that could be, could be fine. On the EVC and Ultra, it's one big 72 volt, 40 amp hour, which um, is a bit of a lump, I have to say, but um, obviously no choice of riding around with, with anything else other than one battery. Um, another major difference would be the capacity of those batteries. So the EVC and Ultra, 72 by 40 is 2.8 kilowatt hours, whereas 60 by 32 by two is 3.8 kilowatt hours. So, if all things were equal, and in this case they pretty much are because there's four kilowatt motors, this bike should do about 35% more range than the EVC or Ultra, just on paper. And as I say, as everything is equal, pretty much, same wheel size, same power, although motors are made by Bosch on this bike and not by Bosch on the other two, not sure who it's made by. Um, this one should get 30 odd percent more range. So if it's range, and you're looking at these three bikes, if it's range that you're after, then that would this would be the bike to choose. Okay, so uh, that's the first thing to say. Um, the other thing would be, obviously, that the uh, this bike has got Samsung and is Bosch based, whereas the other two are, I think, LG and I don't know who, who's done the engine on that one on, or the motor on those two. So uh, again, if it's sort of uh, reliability, I guess, although there's never been any issues with motors really, uh, you might find that Bosch is the way to go. Okay, so four kilowatt Bosch in the hub on all three bikes. Okay, uh, another, I guess, slight advantage with the uh, two batteries is actually how you get them out. Um, we did sell one of these uh, EVCs to a lady who uh, did actually struggle a little bit to uh, get the big single battery out of the bike because it, it is quite heavy. Um, it's going to be what, high teens in terms of uh, weight kilos. So, and you have got to get it over the lip of the seat because obviously if you have two smaller ones, it becomes a lot easier. Okay, so uh, not a major thing, but just something to be aware of. Okay, so that's batteries, uh, 18650 cells, about nine kilos each. Uh, quoted range, so I would like to say that a realistic range for this, this bike um, would be 25 to 30 miles per battery. So you're looking at 50 to 60 mile range. Um, 
if you, again, if you just did the maths, you're looking at 35% less on the EVCs, but maybe I'm being unfair. Uh, you should get probably 35 to 40 miles out of um, uh, an EVC or an Ultra. Okay. Uh, one thing to note about charging, um, this bike comes with a uh, single charging lead. Okay, so if you were charging the batteries off the bike, you could only do one at a time unless you buy a second charger. If you charge the batteries through the bike, uh, you, the charging port is actually under the seat, and in that case, uh, you can you charge them both together. Okay, but you're still looking at um, it's about six to seven hours for both batteries. Okay, so. Uh, and again, that would be five to six hours for the EVC and Ultra. Okay, so if it was uh, convenience, you might just say, okay, and I don't want to leave the batteries in the bike to charge them. You might have to splash out a little bit on a second charger for this bike. Okay, but back to sort of some of the other things, uh, dimensions and all that. So 1.83 meters long, which is... Uh, my height, basically, in length. Six foot one in old money. Uh, the weight of the bike is uh, mid-80s uh, with the batteries in it. 12-inch um, wheels. Again, there's a lot of similarities between these bikes. The, the main difference is actually aesthetics. Uh, this is... Uh, the other two are sort of a reproduction of a Lambretta in terms of their style. Whereas this is a modern interpretation of a Lambretta, you could say. Okay, so it's got things like this, the, you know, a, a nice clear digital dash. It's got some interesting running lights down the front. There's a strip down the front of the, the bike. Um, things like that. Whereas the other, the other two are literally, you know, a Lambretta, but with an electric motor. Okay, so uh, that is possibly why you might choose one or the other. If you want a really, really classic look, you might go for more of the Ultra. But if you uh, want to have something a little bit more up to date, you might pick this one. Okay, so uh, that's something to bear in mind. Um, also, in terms of aesthetics and things like that, the seats on the other two, it's a single seat that sort of inclines at the back for the rear passenger, because these are dual seated bikes. Whereas on this bike, there's an actual separate pad. Well, it's not separate, it's integrated into the seat, but it is, if you look at it, if you look at the uh, static review, you'll see it's an actual separate section. Okay. Um, again, not an issue, it's just that they've, that's how they've chosen to design it. Personally, I prefer f flat seats without ridges and things like that, because then I can sit where I want. Okay. Not to say that this is not a problem, because as you can see, I do have a uh, knee, and I'm I said six foot one, one meter eighty. Okay, so not an issue. Uh, the uh, colours, just as we're looking at the bike itself, this bike only comes in two colours. There's this sort of matte silver, okay, as you can see here, and then a sort of gloss um, slate blue. I think is what they call it. On the others, uh, Artisan EVC is just available in their Storm Grey, which is the same one as their EVC. Uh, and on the uh, Ultra, uh, they do um, Storm Grey, uh, a Cherry Red, although I think they've now dropped that, uh, Sky Blue, Navy Blue, Black and White. Uh, sorry, no white. So Sky Blue, Navy Blue, Black, Red and Grey. Okay, although red, I think they've only got one left in red. Um, and then they're not doing it anymore for whatever reason. Okay, so if it's really colours that you're after, then uh, that might push you down one route or the other. Okay, so in terms of riding it, um, what typically happens is the more volts you have, the more acceleration you get. Okay, so uh, you would think that the Ultra and the EVC, because they're 72 volt versus this 60 volt, they would accelerate a bit more uh, than this. So it would be, again, on paper, 20% more, because 72 volt over 60 volt is 20% more. Okay, I'm not sure you're gonna notice the difference, to be honest. Um, you, you know, that means, um, you know, 
half a second maybe here and there uh, and you don't buy these bikes to get acceleration quick you just get most of the time you're buying these for commuting and things like that where um, it doesn't necessarily matter how quickly they get to speed okay these are a 125cc license um, and they, the top speed of these is sort of like high 40s stroke 50 uh, at a push <laughs> uh, downhill let's say okay so um, you get three modes as you can see here one two three okay so three you get you to sort of 48 49 uh, two you get to um, high 30s um, or oh, sorry low 40s and one gets you to high 30s okay so you could whiz around on one all the time as you can see the dash is uh, quite nice it's a modern style of the dash um, you've got your two batteries here state of charge and then um, speed and things like that pretty simple none of these bikes have apps or anything like that uh, all of them have alarms uh, then you've got indicators, unfortunately silent, but push to cancel, horn, beams, etc, etc. As you'll see on the static review, there is uh, running lights on this bike. Uh, then you've got storage, and in there you've got your USB port. Okay, quite a lot of um, foot space on the platform, bag hook, so you could ride with a bag if you wanted. Um, so, uh, yeah, no complaints there. Again, all of these bikes are pretty similar in dimensions, all these three bikes especially, so uh, not a lot of difference between them. Okay, uh, So the main difference being actually the range, uh, the fact that it has two batteries, uh, but also the price. So you're looking at uh, 3,200 for this one. So 3,200 with more range. Uh, the other two are... 3.4, uh, I think it's 3.450 for the Ultra and 3.495 for the EVC. Um, you have to remember that you do get breakdown recovery on the uh, EVC, on all artisan Hallwind bikes, uh, which, you know, in theory, you would have to add on to the price of this bike of 3,200. Um, but it's £250 less, and you should get breakdown cover for less than that. Uh, if you wanted to add on a second charger, the gap is probably pretty close as it goes, because um, a charger these days is over £200. Okay, But if you were happy to charge them with um, one charger through the bike, or you're happy to charge the batteries off the bike individually, literally charge one, unplug, charge another, uh, then the saving is £250 over basically either of the other two for more range. Um, and then you can argue whether it's more flexible to have two batteries or not, um, which it pretty much is, to be fair. Okay, so all three of them are on the grant. So two-year warranty on the, bat on the bike, three-year warranty on the battery. Um, so you're covered for 80% of charge up to three years. So 80% of charge is not the same as 80% range. So this is done by actually testing the batteries uh, for charge, not for what range you might have. Because obviously range fluctuates with load and weather and things like that, temperature and all that. So that's what the 80% means, 80% charge after three years. Okay. Um, in terms of riding, they're, they're all fine. Um, I quite like this one because I, I just quite like the styling. Um, but, you know, that's just personal preference, isn't it? So um, that's uh, neither here nor there. Okay, so uh, there's not a lot to say uh, other than the fact that if you want a bike, out, and you're looking at these three in particular, and I stress again, there is a now a 5 kilowatt Ultra from the Amoco which obviously is a bit more, but a bit more powerful, goes a bit faster. Um, if you're happy with a bike that does about 50, so it's a 125cc license, you like the sort of classic style of um, these sorts of bikes, sort of Lambretta sort of style. <coughs> um, you want something that's got good brand behind the batteries and the motor, so Bosch and, and Samsung. Um, then this could be the one out of the three that you choose. Um, having said that, people will just really want the classic style of the sort of 
uh, EBC and Ultra. Okay. So, again, not getting an app, but you are getting an alarm. You are getting OLEV, so you are getting a three-year warranty on the battery. You are getting two years warranty. You're getting about 50 to 60 mile range um, for 3,200, which is relatively good value for 125cc equivalent bikes. Um, if you're looking at any other brand, like a, not a classic one, like an NIU, uh, again, a lot more money uh, other than the special offer that's currently on, which makes them about the same. But generally, an NIU, equivalent bike from NIU, is 3,800. Although there is a special on at the moment, which brings that down to the same price as this. Um, this might well be the one. So hopefully that's given you just a sort of brief insight into this bike. Um, you're obviously welcome to come and have a test ride. Um, and please follow us for more reviews on green-mopeds on YouTube. And uh, please feel free to contact us if you have any other questions. So thanks very much.